Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team video. This is going to be a bit of a different video on my channel. I'm bringing a lot of different videos at the minute because EA aren't bringing out a lot of content so there isn't a lot to do with regards on the actual game itself. So I'm just bringing a title update video, something like that. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like on it. Also subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. We're almost at 1.5k subscribers. Currently at 1,476, I'm pretty sure. As you can see in the top right corner of the screen right now. Yeah, that's live. 1,476. So yeah, we're pushing on. Hoping to get that 1.5k. But it'll come in time, of course. I appreciate all the support. We did stream yesterday. Um, we streamed our first 10... No, we, we played the first 10 games. We uploaded a video on the first 10 games. The, the support on that video, by the way, was immense. I really appreciate it. It got like 350 views and a lot of people, it has a lot of likes and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. So I was bringing more of them videos and I was excited to bring more of them videos. But pretty much, I'm now playing 25 games in the weekend league, as you can see on the screen. And I'm on 19 wins, so I'm 19 for 6. As you'll all remember from watching the stream yesterday, I did finish the stream at 15 and 3. So I've gone from 15 and 3 to 19 and 6, which is... 4-3 in the last 7 games which is poor to be honest but it does get hard so there's not a lot I can do. I was actually 2-0 up in a game and with 5 minutes to go and I ended up conceding a goal and then the second goal 3 minutes over added time and I was going crazy. We go into extra time, I'm still not recovered after conceding that stupid goal and I end up losing 5-2. So yeah, it went wrong. We, we should be 20-5 and five really, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can push on and get elite. But what I was going to say is I did record the last, if I was 15-3, and three, I recorded the last 8-9 games, something like that. And I've gone to edit it now and all the files are corrupted. Like, they're just not loading, stuff like that. I'm not sure. I'm kind of new to most of this. I'm not sure why it's like that. So I thought I would go ahead and update you on my weekend league, stuff like that. So I am currently on 19 wins with 5 games remaining, so I need to go 4-1 to one for Elite. I feel like it is possible, it very very is possible, but we will have to see of course. If I just get gold 1, I'm not too bothered. This game is sending me insane at the minute, it really is. I'm trying to get good content out, I'm trying to finish high in the weekend league, but I really am struggling. But it is what it is, wherever I finish we will see. But on to today's video anyway. We are going to be talking about the brand new title update that is coming out tomorrow. It should be coming out at uh, like 11 a.m. Uh, on the 28th, of course, of of, of uh, January. But pretty much, we're going to be talking in this video about the title update that is coming out and what you should expect and whether it is actually going to make a difference. Before we start, of course, like I said, drop a like on the video and drop a comment down below. Do you think? that this title update is actually going to change anything? Do you think it's going to be a huge difference or do you think it's just going to be the same old, same old? I really am hoping for big things for it. To be honest, I don't think it is going to... To be honest, actually, I do think it's going to change a lot of the game. Time for next shots aren't going to be anywhere near as overpowered as they have been. And goalkeeper movement is going to be way slower. So, for example, when people are playing the quick passes and then time finesse shots, the keepers aren't going to be as much of an impact, which is very, very good. But as you can see on the screen, it says that they've, they've, addressed, they've addressed numerous areas of timed shooting and finesse shots, which is a good thing, of course. We're happy about that. And also tuned keeper tuned goalkeeper movement and then we'll of course ignore the career mode one but of course you've probably already read it but the gameplay below it says how they've addressed it before the holidays and there was concerns over goalkeeper movement time finesse shots um outside the box and we're hoping changes covered within today's update will bring a welcomed improvement in those areas so yeah we are hoping for that of course i'm not too sure whether they will but pretty much this is what they're saying is going to happen um anyway into this bit here Shooting time finesse, um, so they're addressing the fact that time finesse shots are going to be patched and they are too overpowered. They're not going to be completely patched, they still well and truly are going to be in the game. You're going to see in the next images very shortly what is actually going on with them. But it says an issue where a timed shot would, uh, would always have less error than a non-time finesse shot, even in situations where the time finesse shot was red or yellow. And yeah, this does happen very, very often. I'm not going to lie, it's happened to me and it's happened for me a lot. 
Like, for example, you do a time finesse shot and it's yellow or red and it will still go in the net and you're thinking, how on earth would that just happened? And it's stupid. You shouldn't be able to abuse a mechanic in a game and do the mechanic wrong, but it still works and you benefit from it. Like, it doesn't really make sense. But it also says that the level of error reduction for a time finesse shot is now in line with the level of error reduction for other time finesse shots. I'm not completely sure what that actually means, but maybe you do. But then it says um, the accuracy of yellow or red time finesse shots was found too high and has been reduced, which is very, very good news. We've already talked about that. Um, this change will impact the likelihood of these shots resulting in goals scored, which is also very good. So they're saying the likelihood of it happening is going to be a bit less, hopefully a lot less. But yeah, below you can see the examples of 100, 100 before and after yellow time finesse shots taken by De Bruyne in circumstances on target resulting in the goal. So as you can see here in these images I am showing you um, the first one. This is this is 100 times of him taking it. I'm pretty sure before the update. So it's just showing you what would happen in, in 100 different scenarios before the update when this is out. So as you can see the blue represents the ball literally going in the net. The red is going wide and then the black is just, I'm pretty sure, going in the net. I'm not 100% sure what goes on with EA's diagrams and stuff like that here. But it looks it looks okay. It looks like something that's going to it's gonna be improved. It's going to be better. Um, but then into the next image here. This is, again, this is taken with more shots. So this is after the update comes out. What's What it's going to be like with finesse shots. As you can see, there's a lot more red arrows compared to this one here. The red arrows, but there's obviously way more blue, but it kind of seems like the finesse shot is going a bit all over the place, even more than the others. I'm not too sure exactly what it is going to do, but I really hope it is going to change something and it's going to make the game better, but I feel like FIFA 19 is not the greatest. This year it has been a bit of a failure. Overall, like SBCs, all the in-game mechanics and stuff like that, SBCs has been a positive. It's been very, very good. And the content's been good from EA and it is getting better and I can only see good things for FIFA 20 but they do need to upgrade the servers 100% as we've all been talking about. There's been many many issues that really has with servers stuff like that because last weekend the gameplay didn't feel the same as this weekend and it's and so forth it goes on and on and on it's the same story every time but as you can see here they have implemented this to show in before and after so before the update in this bar along the top it says red timing and like that and then late timing grey but you can just see the, the areas that they have changed for example the red timing is pretty much the same yellow timing has increased so there's more area of missing for after and so it hasn't actually been increased that much but it has been increased which is surprising but the green time as well it's been reduced which means of course the likelihood of when it's green is more likely going to go in which is perfect that's the way it should be i don't know why it isn't like that in the first place but oh well um and then as you can see with the other green it's pretty much the same but it's a little bit reduced and late timing is the exact same as you've already seen but onto this bit here i'm pretty sure this is quite irrelevant for most people and they don't really care but i'm pretty sure maybe i do have some viewers i'm pretty sure my main viewership is ultimate team only but maybe some of you do enjoy pro clubs some of you may enjoy career mode as well i'm really not too sure but yeah as you can see on career mode here they're saying after the last patch an issue with both manager and player careers occurred where players were unable to grow their overall rating and instead was showing a minus one overall in multiple screens this issue has been resolved with today's changes I don't actually play career mode, I've not played it this year, I, I know some people that do play it and they say that it's not been updated in years and it isn't good enough and it needs to be made better and I know Pro Clubs does because I've played Pro Clubs a lot, I haven't played it this year but I have played it a lot in the past and I know there's a lot of problems with it but they do say here we also address the following issues in player career uh, finishing in place in your league at the end of the season was not properly awarding the win the league, you know what I mean. Like how are they addressing a problem like this four months into a game into into FIFA 19? Like we're in 2019 and EA are making problems like this. Like how are they doing that? But then it says the Emirates FA Cup final match being scheduled the day before the final match of the Premier League season. That's also pretty stupid to have two back-to-back -back big games like that. It doesn't obviously matter that much, but it just doesn't look right. 
but let's just leave career mode. I'm not I'm not sure if many people care. Drop a comment down below if you played career mode this year. Do you play career mode? I'm interested to hear. But also it says here, pro clubs made the following changes. The fatigue reduction in applied to a is applied is applied to a pro club's player when it was being controlled by someone locked to a position has now also been applied to the players when they are being controlled by someone playing on any. So yeah, that looks like quite a good thing that's been implemented, but again, how is this only getting implemented now? Like, How are these errors still in the game and they haven't been approached, they haven't been changed, they haven't been talked about, not even once? But it does say here, address the following issues. In pro clubs, the squad screen was not displaying the stats for each member of the club on the panel on the left side of the screen. I'm not too sure about pro clubs. I'm going to head over to pro clubs in a minute just to have a look at it. People were saying to me, oh, do you want to play pro clubs with viewers, stuff like that. We could definitely make a series out of that, something like that in the future potentially, if that is something people do want to see, of course. But I don't play pro clubs, I really don't. But as you can see here on the screen, I am loading pro clubs. I'm just seeing the error um, that they are talking about. I don't actually have a club, so I can't go into the lobby. But yeah, this is my guy anyway, but we'll just carry on with what we're talking about. It says, sometimes a pro club's virtual pro's overall rating was incorrect when displayed in the pro club screen. Again, another issue. How has this not been addressed? And how is this still a problem that is in the game? It's kind of bizarre. Like, that's just stupid, really. But then it says, for players that were impacted by this issue, you can see the overall rating of your virtual pro when displayed in the Pro Club Hub be lower than it was in the prior to the title update. Again, come on. Like, they need to, they need to, I'm hoping on FIFA 20, they're going to have some big updates for Pro Clubs, maybe some big updates for, for um, the career mode. I'm not too sure about career mode. I don't really care, to be honest. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that really do enjoy career mode. So of course I do want people, for the people that do grind, for the people that do enjoy career mode, I want them to go ahead and obviously get a better experience with it. But yeah boys, that has pretty much been it for this video. I really, really do hope you have enjoyed and I really hope EA do do the right thing and the title update that does come out does make the game more enjoyable. Obviously it isn't the greatest game in the world and we all play the game for a reason but I'm hoping that it is improved and I'm sure you all are as well but make sure you do drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it and it did help you out in any way at all and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and also hit the notification button next to the subscribe button and you will be notified whenever I do upload a video but I really do hope you did enjoy the video we're going to try and grind out the final games drop a comment down below as well do you want to see me record the final five games there may be more issues, I'm hoping not, but if not and all's good, then I will go ahead and upload it and we will see. But yeah, I appreciate all the support on the channel recently. As you can see top right, we're 24 subs away from 1.5k. If we can hit that soon, that'll be amazing. But yeah, I appreciate all the support. Thanks so much for watching and that's been it. Peace out.